Robert Hector here at his Cool Bond Studs in Ratanure in County Wexford. How are you, Robert? I'm good, thanks, Davey. Keeping our social distancing, as you can see, well over two metres. Yeah. Um, you're a busy man. You're riding out in Colin Bowes in the mornings, and you have 14 or 15 pre-trainers of your own here at home. Yeah, I'm very busy now. Um, didn't think I'd be as busy on my first year at, at the job, so I'm delighted. You started off with Liz Doyle right now, and you had a few rides on the track and everything, but uh, this this is the road that you wanted to go down, not the riding? Yeah, I, I had a few rides just to get a feel of the whole game, and, and I went to Willie's then for two years as well, Willie Mullins. I um, learned a good bit up there and learned a few nice people. So, And uh, here at home, you have a lot of land. You have a fantastic two-mile grass gallop in there, and um, you have a, a new gallop that you put in here. Tell us a little bit about this gallop. Yeah, look, I am... Um, there over the summer, last summer gone, John John Ormond came in there and um, we put down Wexford Sand, six furlong gallop, um, it rises 45 metres up from top to bottom, so yeah look, John came in and he, um, there was no messing, just came in and put down 12 inches, all his drainage, 12 inches of stone, 12 inches of sand and yeah look, I didn't have to, I didn't have to do much, just down to John, he came in, there was no messing, lovely. There wouldn't there be some people that would uh, that are training horses for the track that wouldn't have his gallop as good as that. So that's a massive asset to you, Robert, to have that at such a young age. That's huge. Sir. It's, it's what I wanted to do. So I'm, might as well do it now when I'm young. Yeah, definitely. And tell us a little bit about that grass gallop that I mentioned. Yeah, look, it's a mile and a half in one round, and they come and they go across the straight twice, do two miles. Um, lads seem to be very happy with it and uh, getting good results off it. So. This will probably be the end of it now uh, for for a couple of months now with the not because of the tough times that we're going through but because of this drying weather but um it got a lot of galloping through the winter but it's very wide so you're able to move the track um in and out uh, quite a lot we were able to facilitate everyone there um, most of the lads had fresh ground there all year through, throughout the season so yeah i think everyone was happy so would i be right in saying that many years ago there was a point to point held here robert yeah, no, before my time now, um, I Long. don't remember. Uh, so, but yeah, seemingly it was a very good track in the day. Um, it's over a bit of what uh, what the new gallop is now, but um, we used to go down down the land a little bit more. So, okay. Yeah. And uh, you're obviously learning a lot right now in Colin Bowes as well. You have a few pre-trainers for Colin and for a few other lads as well. So is the plan just to keep tipping away pre-train and hopefully train a few maybe on the track then in yeah, time? Yeah, exactly. Um, look, just pre-train away and... Uh, I have a few of my own homebreds there and whatnot, so just try to run them and I'm happy enough. Well, it's great to see you starting off so young and going into this training game, and um, I'm sure you'll be very successful at it. And best of luck with it, Robert. Please, God. Thanks, Davey.